Hello, it's me, Aisha Elaine. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hi, I'm Aisha. And if you're not new to the channel, welcome back. In today's video, I will just be going over with you guys what's on my wedding registry. Um, this is something that I really put a lot of effort and time into and I thought it would be a good idea to help other people who are trying to figure out what to put on their wedding, re wedding registries and yeah so without further ado we're just going to get right into the video. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is where you should register. So the first thing that I did was look for different places where I could register our registry. So we are registered with Zola.com. So I'll go ahead and link our registry down below so you guys can see only what we have, but our wedding website and kind of how we formatted that and things like that as well. So yeah, so we registered with Zola. Um, and the reason why we went ahead and went with Zola was because Zola is an all-in-one inclusive place. So I can link registries from Amazon, from Target, from different places. And it was just easier for us. There was things that I really liked at Target and there was things that I really liked on Amazon or Bed Bath & Beyond and stuff like that and I was able to just put them all in one place and then Zola also has its own little registry section where you can find things on there to put on your registry as well from other stores so it's just a place where you can do everything in one spot so I have the Zola app so I'll show you exactly what the Zola app looks like I actually have my Zola app down below on my phone oh not only is it a wedding website but you can do your registry there people can RSVP through your website so you'll get emails and everything about anytime someone buys you a gift or um, someone RSVPs to your wedding and another really cool thing I like about Zola is that on the registry side there is a checklist on there so you'll be able to kind of have a guide of what to put on your registry so that's another thing that i really really like about zola the next topic that i'm going to be talking about is how we chose what's actually going to go on our registry i remember when it was time to put our registry together i was so overwhelmed with all the different things that you can choose from so Jordan and I decided to sit down and really focus on what we have coming up in the next few years. So the first thing would be our apartment. We need things for our apartment, obviously, and I like to say, you know, closed mouths don't get fed. So go ahead and put everything that you need for your apartment on there. Even if you have things, I know that when we were buying things for the apartment that we have now, I had to buy cheaper things because there were so many things that we had to buy. So I did go ahead and duplicate some of the items that we already have and just put nicer quality items. So for instance, I did buy a Keurig, but I really wanted an espresso machine. So I went ahead and put an espresso machine on our wedding registry so that we could you know have the one that we want and something that will last us a really long time and then if I did want to eventually use a Keurig um, which I do now if I wanted to use a Keurig I can do that as well so yeah so that would definitely be my first tip is think about what you have coming up so in the next few years we're also wanting to buy a house um, where we have this apartment obviously so we have things coming up in the next few years that we're gonna need certain things on our registry for so uh, we need kitchen items we needed a bed we needed a couch we needed all that stuff so my next tip would definitely be do not be afraid to ask for expensive items definitely give your give your guests a range of things that they can choose from and allow them to decide how much they want to put into how much they want to spend on you for your wedding next tip would be place things into categories so when you're deciding on what you want put them into categories so what we did is I have our categories listed out so we had um, kitchen items Bedroom, dining, bathroom, cash funds, travel, honeymoon, home decor, and then miscellaneous items. So not only are we moving into an apartment, but we'll eventually be moving into a house. So we wanted to put things on our registry that have longevity. So right now we obviously don't have a couch. We don't have nightstands in our room. Um, there's some decor that we have that that we want that we do not have. So we put all of that on our registry. Um, we put suitcases on there, all kinds of stuff so that people can get us items that we actually really, really want. So the next topic will be tips and tricks that we used when putting our registry together. So the first thing would be always highlight your most wanted items i cannot stress this enough um some registries might have 50 items on there and if you're really wanting that couch or if you're really wanting that coffee machine or if you're really wanting you know that art piece put it at the top of your registry and mark it as most wanted so what we did we went ahead and did that with about five items which are the biggest items on our registry to show people you know hey this is something that we really really want please buy this for us 
So that's what we did. So definitely do that. I would say if you have expensive items on your registry go ahead and make those group cash funds so basically that just means that when somebody goes in and sees okay this person really wants the couch okay i only have a hundred dollars to put into it so i know they want this couch so i can put in a hundred dollars then another person can come in and say okay well i have two hundred dollars to put in um so i'll put two hundred dollars towards this couch because it's a group fund and more people can put into it so not one person is forced to buy that $900 couch for you. I did want to take a quick moment to thank Mayless Cosmetics for gifting me their amazing Be Glowy and Be Glossy body serum. With my wedding coming up in the heat of the summer, I'm so excited to be using this product. It's a clinically proven duo that helps to reduce the appearance of dark spots and skin discoloration and helps to smooth the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. I've been using this product for about a week now and absolutely love the consistency and the fact that it doesn't leave my skin super sticky. If you'd like to get your hands on a bottle, go ahead and follow the link in my description box down below. The next thing I would say is make your registry as soon as possible. So the second you get engaged, start formatting your registry. I say this just because Jordan and I got engaged back in December and we're also getting married in July. So I only had seven months total to curate a registry and things like that. So the first thing that I did when we got engaged is made our registry and that helped me so much because when it comes time to add gifts, you're not going to add everything that you want to your registry right away. Your style might change over the next few months. Um, there's things that may come up that you might need. For instance, when we first got this apartment, we were planning on buying everything ourselves, but Obviously, when you're planning a wedding, unexpected costs come up and we just didn't have enough money to buy the couch and the nightstands and things that we really needed in our apartment. So I would definitely say give yourself enough time to add things that may come up in the future that you need. And with that, there's going to be things that you want to add along the way. So you want to give yourself time to be able to do that. You definitely don't want to be last minute with your registry. And you also want to give your, your guests time to save up enough money to buy the nice things off of your registry. So... So lastly, I'll just be talking about what's actually on our registry. Um, maybe this can give you guys some ideas and I'll leave our registry link down below so you'll be able to see that as well. But I'll just go over some of the things that we have on our registry. If there's things that you guys have on your registries that I don't have and you feel it could be beneficial to me, please let me know that down in the comments as well. I actually love getting feedback from you guys and ideas. So yeah, so let me know if there's anything that I miss or anything that I should add to it. So on Zola, it doesn't have the gifts broken down. They're all just on a list all together. So for instance, my registry, I have, I'm registered through Zola, Amazon, and Target. So all of my registries are all on there together. So there's no formatting of like kitchen, dining, things like that split up. So now I'm just going to go over this with you guys. So the first thing that I have is a couch. The couch retails for $1,000. Um, this is also a group gift on my registry so that um, people can, you know, put into it. And I will put pictures on the screen of each gift so you guys will be able to see um, some of the larger items that we have. We also went ahead and put two nightstands on there instead of two. We tried to be very mindful of people's budgets and things like that. So we really tried to find something that was reasonably priced and good quality. So we put a set of two nightstands on there. We also put a TV on our wedding registry. Um, we also have a um, dresser on there. And then we have a shoe cabinet, which is going to be technically like our entryway table in our apartment. Um, we also put some patio furniture on there. Um, another thing we have are a few cash funds. So we did put a home journey fund on there. So we allow, we're allowing people to, um, we're going to use this cash fund to buy whatever we don't get on our registry and also put it into savings for a down payment for a house. Um, that would be very helpful if we got you know gifted that kind of stuff and um, we also put an amazon gift card on there i love the container store so i put a container store gift card on there as well um, we asked for a shark which is just a vacuum um, we do have carpet in our apartment so i thought it would be beneficial to have that as well we also asked for really good quality pots and pans. Now this is an example of what I was talking about earlier. We already have pots and pans, but the pots and pans we bought, I think I got for like 50 bucks at Walmart. I just needed pots and pans to cook, so I just bought the cheapest thing that I can find. And I was hoping that, you know, we would get gifted with pots and pans. 
Um, we also asked for um, a food chopper, so a vegetable chopper, um, baking dishes. <clears throat> we asked for a glass bowl, um, fruit containers. We asked for a scrub daddy. Um, we also asked for glass food container jars of different kinds. Um, we also asked for a mirror. Um, we put suitcases on there because obviously we would be going on a honeymoon and we plan on doing a lot of traveling. So we really wanted to have good quality suitcases because we don't have that right now. Uh, and then getting kind of into some of the kitchen things that we asked for. We did ask for KitchenAid uh, mittens. We asked for a curtain rod, uh, my Nespresso machine. That's like one of the things that I really want. Uh, I also put food serving bowls on there with lids, so mixing bowls. Uh, we asked for extra blankets and sheets. Uh, we put another plant on there. We put shoe boxes. Uh, we also asked for a ring doorbell because that's just one of a, another gift that we could have in our home one day. So that's something that we definitely wanted to ask for. Um, with the curtain rods, we did also ask for curtains. We asked for coffee mugs as well, command hooks, um, a lot of different organization pieces. Um, I asked for a laminating machine because we both do a lot of business things and work from home. So we thought having a laminating machine would be really nice. Um, I also put some decor on here as well. Some welcome mats. Um, again, more food storage jars. Uh, a lot of decor. I put lamps on here. I put paintings on here. Hangers. I also went ahead and put a printer on here. Having a printer is so important. I didn't realize this until I moved out on my own. Um, and now I need a printer all the time and I constantly have to go to, to Jordan's parents house to use the printer So um, I also put a printer on there um, You know, I put accent mirrors on there lamps um, for my desk Lots and lots of organization things um, Again more decor and then lastly we did um, ask for some YouTube equipment. So tripods um, car mounts things like that um, we thought would be very beneficial to us as well and then we also um, did already get some gifts so I'll just show you guys some of the gifts we got so we got the crock pot already um, we got plates and bowls uh, we got our frother and then we also got um, some kitchen towels and things like that so we did we did get gifted a few gifts so I'm very thankful for that I'm thankful for everything that anyone buys for us but that was it for the video like I said if I forgot anything on my registry please let me know and I will add it to it and see if it's something that Jordan and I can utilize um, thank you so much for watching this video so I will talk to you guys in the next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next week